Well, um, again, Brexit is sort of a long-term project, um, and um, you will see as we're moving closer to March 29th that we're getting way more closer in terms of tangible um, actions that we have to take, um, and that includes building up the infrastructure, that includes obviously all the uh, adjacent projects which we have to run in parallel. So while we as Goldman still think that if you get a transition period, we could have more time to do it more diligent, to work more on those topics, we are prepared to be ready on March 29th. And so, yeah, preparations are in full swing um, in terms of activities and, uh, and people that we will have to move to the continent. I think the numbers um, are obviously fluctuating, but uh, we think around 500 people go to the continent, will move to the continent, a large part of that will go to Frankfurt. Um, so far, um, again, uh, this is now really taking shape in terms of back office, front office functions, and all of that. Um, so yeah, we're in the middle of a very, very big project. Yeah, well, that sounds really challenging. Let us talk about your vision about Europe, because it seems that Goldman is quite committed to Europe. Do you think? That's a growing story, given all these uncertainties, talking to Italy, uh, political uncertainty. I think the uncertainties you talk about show us how important the uh, European project is and how important it is to get it working. Uh, get it working in many aspects for the financial industry to get a strong Europe, to get not only a strong Finanzplatz Frankfurt, but also to get a strong European capital market to get a strong Europe, get strong European banks. So I think Europe is, and the challenges we are facing, I think is a wake up call for everybody who thought it's an option. Uh, I think it's a necessity given the environment we're in. Um, a lot of talk here yesterday was on the consolidation need of the European financial industry. Would you like to take an active part in that? <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of uh, talk. We had our European Finances conf uh, Conference earlier in the year. Uh, and at that conference, there was also a lot of high-level talk about the need for consolidation. I think what you see is that uh, the business environment has been more stable for the banks. Um, the challenges, however, remain. There is still a lot of um, restructuring to be done. And um, there is also the search for growth. And the growth usually is coupled with technology and investment in technology. And I think some of that was the topic here as well at this conference. So I think um, all of that is, will have to be considered before you talk about broad-based consolidation. Does Goldman as an M&A house want to take part in consolidation activity as an advisor in particular? Absolutely. Uh, but I think you know before you go to the micro level, you really have to deal with these uh, restructuring needs that are around in the European financial uh, sector. And then the, the whole framework for consolidation hinges on, or the whole consolidation hinges on the framework that is to be set by the politicians. And there we're back to the topic of banking union and what it takes to get the banking union done and so on and so forth. So there's still a lot of preconditions, I'd say, but uh, longer term, yes, consolidation in the European banking sector is necessary to create strong European banks. But it, it sounds that you don't think it will happen in the short term, right? Yeah, uh, that's I think what I'm trying to say. I think you need to obviously do your homework to be ready for it. And, and while everybody is making progress, it might still take some time. Yeah, L let's look at your strategy. We recently has opened uh, in the UK uh, a retail bank called Marcus. Are there any plans to roll that out in the continent as well? Our strategy here <clears throat> in Germany has been to grow our business and to expand our business. So apart from M&A and financing, where we are leading house, we have uh, consistently tried to expand our services. We're trying to move closer to the customers in the region, including Germany, and clearly our retail strategy is part of that. Now, Marcus has been launched in the UK, as, as you rightly say. Germany certainly is one of the next markets, if not the next market, but we're going step by step, one step after the other. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.